Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président, Président François, I've understood. Change is now. So let's go straight at it. Bring it on. And we won't just have a private conversation. Let's have a private conversation, even though there are a lot of people in the room with us. You talked about European values. Well, we also have to be intelligent enough to say that Europe didn't defend its own values when it was in league with dictators in the south of the Mediterranean. And when the people uh, rose up, then we uh, said that we shared those values with them. There's a different, difficult balancing act uh, to have in politics between our values and our interests. Sometimes we support uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, or other uh, forces for ill. It's often contrary to our values that we are reacting. There is a contradiction, and sometimes this is a rather difficult contradiction for us to deal with. And now we're talking about Europe in the future. Let's not talk just about the budget. There's also a fundamental problem in the Council and between the Council and the Parliament, namely how do we see the value added that the European budget offers. The stupidest thing to say is to say, since I have to save money at national level, I have to save, we have to save money at European level. We should be saying quite the opposite. History teaches us that because there are recessions in the member states, we need an EU budget that can reinvigorate those economies. Joseph's quite right when he says, where have the 120 billion gone? It's not your fault. We need to ask Mr. Schäuble, Mrs. Merkel. He's not in charge of the German budget alone. Why am I saying this to you now? Well, because Europeans can't see this relaunch of the European economy coming. Indeed, if you look at the steel industry, the automobile sector, France and Germany seem to, be, seem to believe that they can get out of it, uh, this crisis, on their own. But we won't have a country-by-country country steel or automobile industry. Let's throw down the gauntlet now and talk about industrial uh, redeployment in uh, Europe. Let's look at mobility in our cities and create trams that we can build in Europe and then export as Airbus builds and exports aircraft. Now you've said that we have to be clear, you've said that we have to be determined and I would also say we have to be responsible but we also need imagination otherwise we're just going round in circles and doing nothing new. If we try to create the world of tomorrow with yesterday's ideas, then it's not going to work. The ideas of yesterday have created the contradictions that we see in front of us today. So we need new ideas for the world of tomorrow. You talked about the CAP, for example. Now, let's not ignore the truth. We've got the French rebate, the UK rebate. That's part of the CAP. But you talked about the CAP today and you talked only about the food and agriculture industry. But the CAP has to serve all European farmers and not the minority in the agro-food uh, industry. 80% of CAP money goes to 20% of farmers. Well, that's not solidarity for me. France, the UK, Germany are blocking ceilings on uh, holding payments. That's not solidarity. The figures are crazy. Those who get more than 300,000 euros, well, there are 160 of them in France. There are 100,000 euro going to 100,000 farms in France and 10,000 elsewhere in Europe. You've got, let's put a ceiling on payments for everybody, for all the farmers. The agro-food industry can defend itself. It doesn't need the European budget to do it for it. 
lastly on Mali. You're quite right, but now we have to see things through. Europe has a big role to play. Reconciliation is difficult. It's not going to be easy with the Tuareg, but we need reconciliation within Mali. Mali's problem is that some less than democratic countries like Algeria didn't play their regional role. Indeed, they're playing with fire, attacking terrorists on the one hand and supporting them on the other. So let's see things through at the international level. Here I agree with you. That's not for France. This is something for Europe. But that's another story, another fairy tale, because that we need a representative of the uh, f external action service who is uh, worthy of the name which is not the case at the moment if you can create a European energy area a, European, a Europe that's of renewable energy if France can do that if we can have binding goals on renewable energies then you'll see all of the Greens in Europe saying Francois is on our side and we're on Francois' side